may raga. Mga kautod sa Ginoo, praise the Lord nga makaupod ko pa mo sa liwat sa atong online devotion. Sa atong pagsugod, pangabay ko talang sa pag-open sa inyong mga Bible, in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 19 to verse 23. I, 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 I think I have already uh, read this but while back when we talk about the mercies of God. But uh, there is something, some some message na rin na very important yun. Uh, I hope na mag-learn kita. No? So, Valere, remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the dog, my soul hath them still in remembrance and is humble in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So before kita magpadayan, mga mga let's pray. Our gracious God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful good morning that you have given us the, uh, the opportunity to hear your word and to meditate in your word. We pray, you know, that we don't need to say more, but grow spiritually. Kaya kami, you know, ang mga nga, ang gids, ang imokutuman na, kag ma-apply na mga gids, as we apply, you know, ang imokutulog sa mga gids. Salamat, you know, Pagsaliwat din balik na ako sa iyong pagdaya kung sa iyong pray. Amen. The title of my message or this morning's devotion is What Things I Need to Do This New Year? May question, no? So, 2022 na. What's next? Actually, uh, every year, every year, every year of my life, Uh, especially when I, I was in elementary school up to high school. But the air, per day, ito pa mang pot, what will you do next year? Uh, what will you do the beginning of the year? Ano mga na things na kinalala mo? Himokon. Uh, and uh, nag uh, pamangkot ko manasa ko sa mata ko lang po until today. Dama lang po yung panglista, dama po sa mga ibabarang mga resolutions. But uh, sadly, hindi ka na na two months. But uh, I, I am blessed ng araw man, na two months. Pero of course, hindi ka na. So, I come up with uh, three things na I've learned from the past month from other people. Na it's very important, kaya gusto ko give na i-apply sa akong kabuhit. And hopefully, may apply man sa ako ng tanan. No? Ang three things that I want to do uh, or what I always do every time there is this moment yung kundi ay ma-remember naman that there, are, there is another year that may opportunity na makita mga timok sa mag-o ng butan. Pero of course, tanan hindi dapat nagkasin ito yan kung sa ino. So, there are three things I want to do or we should do this New Year. First, we need to remember. Remembering the things that God has done for you and your family. Of course, kung panagdaman natin na in last year, magpanindog kita in the past, Doon ka buday gito ka to nun. Doon ka subok gito. Kailangan ko sa mga butang nag, nag-abok sa itong last year. Kaya doon ka mabag gito ko. Doon ka buday man ito man. Doon ka subok man ito mga time. Damo sa atong mga kilala, mga friends. Ibang sila nagmasakit. Ang ibang sila uh, nagtaliwan. Kaya masubok gito. Kaya mabalaan na ito. No? But uh, again, That is the sad part of the past. That past year na natigan. But there is also good things from the past that we need to be reminded of. Especially when we, think, when we talk about God's faithfulness and consistent love for us. Kung parang naman natin po sa ginoo, ang ato natigan na year, it's not all about problems and difficulties. But also a testimony of God's faithfulness, because kung panagdumon natin, if God is not 
no? if it's not bigger, then we will not be here. No? Kaya mo nang balang reason man, na kung bigil si David, in 1 Samuel 17.37, very really young pa siya sa amin niya pa. Sa nag-atubang siya kay Saul, no? kay Tungon, gusto niya makipagpato kay Goliath. He is willing to fight against Goliath. Kaya nga, si Saul and his man doesn't want him to fight because he's still too young, no? Pero ang bali David siya, kaya the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, He delivered me from the hands of this Philistine. So, ano yung hibong niya's motivation? Sa pag-atubang niya sa amuling ng giant, it is what he had experienced in the past. Remembering how God has been faithful to him in the past, make him this great confidence in his heart, knowing that the same God who take care of the enemies that he had in the past is the same God who will take care of the enemy that he is facing today. God is again, oh, I know kung uh, sakit man, or I don't know kung ano mong experiences na ito, panang, panang kita, but may dahilain ko ng experience na sounds, some are joyful experiences, some are sad experiences, may mga times na hindi mo mahibo ang gusto mo, yet kung panang dobo na ito, ito is really no, there are good experiences. Uh, some rewarding experiences. Kaya, Amunin mo na tayong palagla na ma-remember, say mo, amunin dapat mo i-remember. Amunin dapat niya mag- mag-look back at him mo, ang ginoo ka din. Siya galing ang naging matuto, na aahari ko din iso mo. Ikaw mo na yung confidence ni David, no? Kung malabaw, ang ginoo ko, siya nag-sustain sa akin. Pag anong rason kung mamahadlok ko sa isa katao? Just think about this. David was against lions and bears. Kaya balaan na to niya, is that isa a grown man could not defeat a lion in a bear. No? He would like him. Yeah, would like him to run. And yes, Goliath, yes, he is a giant, but yet he is still just a man. So how could I be afraid of that? So same with everything that's sa ato mga nato. No? I don't know kung ano pang mag-a-blogpot sa akong kabuhi this year. Maybe this Omicron will be much more severe than the previous one. But the thing is, let us not be afraid of anything. Why? Because the same God who sustained us last year is the still the same God who is in our tomorrow. And He has already prepared our today. And there is nothing to be afraid of. No? We just have to obey. Huh? So, remember Remember God's faithfulness. Pag ako pa na hindi na require, hindi request ni, ni Moses sa iyan ng mga katawa, no? sa Deuteronomy 4, 9, ang bali niya, only take care and keep your soul diligent lest you forget the things that your eyes have seen and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. Malipatan mo ang katutong sa nilo o sa inyo. So, ano yung mga mo? Make them known your children and your children's children. Oh, so that is the number of four and nine. So, para hindi mo malipatan, itudlog mo sa inyong kabataan kag sila man. Oh, sila man, makabalo kung paano naging matotong ang ginoo sa inyo. Kag kami man, sabon man sa panimalay naman, I always give my testimony to my child. Ngayon, ginashare ko si Iya kung paano naging matuto ng ginoo sa akong kabuhi, kung paano ko ginduwas ang ginoo, kung paano siya nagsustain sa ako, kung paano may kubi atagan sa kabuhi na wala katakusan. And I do believe, oh, ang muman ang ginuburas ang ako ng wife sa Iya. Pag ang muman ay dapat na ito itulog sa akong mga kabataan. Yes, of course, hindi tanan sila. No? magasunod sa aton pagtuo apang dapat may balaan nila kung paano ang ginoo na di matutong sa inyo at sa aton so that they will know when they are ready they could come to the Lord in prayer and God will always be available for them. 
God will always be there for them. God is always there to open up His arms and receive them as His sons and daughter. So, what does it mean? First thing that we need to do this new year, we need to remember God's faithfulness. The second, we need to refocus. Ang isa ka buta na na-notice ko, especially sa akong personally, every time na ganit, nag-abot na ganit, ang um, gatawag mo lang na wear mans. Ngayon kung the air na doon nag, nag ano na, no? may mga Christmas light na <laughs> daw ka, masadya na lang palibot, matug na walang panahon. How many times na this time, nag-a-out of focus na kita? No? Nag-a-out of focus na kita? Sa una, di ba? Just think about this. Pag abot ka nila sa October, November, December, doon, No nag-lay low na ang pagsunod sa purpose. <laughs> no, no, okay na mag-upload sa mga friends. Just can't balaan na ito. May arap pa, may masakit pa, arap pa COVID, arap pa ang Omicron, arap pa ang Delta. No? Yet, no nag-lay low kita. He doon na dula na itong focus that in spite of the new year, arap niya ako ng masakit. No? So, dahil ko sa ako ng lay low. And sometimes kita man, bilang Kristo ka nun, sometimes ako man kita, Nagalilaw man kita. Hingga <laughs> kalipatan na ito. Galing nga at ato ang galilis ng sundidad. No? Ito mo na na na-burn out kita in a sense. Doon ko mga sabi, doon na ako na galilis mo. Tapos sumbaw, ay, ay ako, ako na ako. Away ko na din. Tapos kisa, ang pag-away mo, malawi pa. Sa tayo na naalan mo or nahatag mo sa ginoo. No? So, what I do is this. Every year, I come to the Lord and commit myself to Him. I refocus my thoughts. May ito rin sa ano, ang muna natin sa Hebrews 12.2. Hamba rin sa Hebrews 12.2. Hamba niya, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, Who for the joy that has set before him endured the cross, displaced the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. No? Looking at Jesus. No? Because again, there are distress, there are problems in life. Yes, nag-aabot sa mga gumit. So dapat mas center ka sa inyong mga thought again sa ginoo. Focus ka sa ginoo. No? Kaya mo man isa ito. No matter what situation we are, always remember this, God is faithful. And because He is faithful, kita man, dapat pa din faithful man. So, dapat ang eyes na doon nakafixate sa inya, ma-focus kita sa inya, pag ano man ang magutan at kinanggat pa, ano ni on? He mo on again. Uh-huh. He mo on again. To focus, to fixate our eyes to the Lord. Uh-huh. Ito mo siya ang importante, ang pinaka-importante ng mga tao sa inyong kabuhi. Thanks ako niyo. Without Him, I am nothing. Without Him, we are nothing. So we need to give Him again the glory. If we have already forgotten our commitment to the Lord, balik kita sa commitment natin. Ano bang commitment natin? Ang atong pagsimba, ang atong pagtalaga, No, sometimes kasi ang inarasong nalangan ng pandemic para hindi na nakasimba. Kung ano sabihin mo, whether it's physical, online, you could still worship the Lord. You should focus on that. Again, worshiping the Lord should not only happens on Sunday, but every day. So, wala na dapat tayo magpahuli. Or wala na dapat tayo na magpuntad ka sa pag-worship sa Gino, pag-alala sa Gino. You worship the Lord of you. And minister for the Lord. To serve the Lord in all things. Pagka manipakita natin na sa mga propeta, ang mga prophets, 
ang mga apostles ni Jesus Christ. Ang muling reason niya ang nagdamo. Oh. Nagdamo ang mga Kristo nga ng pitungod na kafocus sila na pakiksay ang hinalayas sa paghibo sa buta niya mapakalipay sa inyo. And when you forget this, you forget these things, you could again recommit. Or, I should say, be focused. Focus again. Sa kung anong bala ang ito gusto inyong para sa inyo. The third, ang muna yung isa pa yun. Restart. To change the things that needs to be changed. Ang muna tumula kayo na, no? Sa setang yun ba sa ano? Sa lamentations. That God gives us uh, the things that we need. No? Mainly, uh, ang iyong mercy. Ang iyong mercy is new every morning. Ang iyong compassion, no? padayo. Kay faithful siya, nagilang mo. Nabisan, ano ka kapagbo sa kung kapagbuhi, still, Arat siya. And because arat siya, of course, He gives us another chance. Uh, every day is another chance to become more like Him. Ako mo na ganit. I remember that time sa araw ko seminary, may araw kami na sa Lulogo, no? Ang ba sa bayot na ako ito, ang ba na, be patient with me. God is not done with me yet. No? Do I think ako na ang phrase, no? wala pa natapos ang ginoo sa akin. Oh? So, hindi pa tapos ako, hindi pa ako work in progress pa ko. In, ay, ako, mas, ako personally, work in progress pa man ko sa ginoo because I'm, yet, I'm not yet as uh, uh, perfect. Of course, we could never really be perfect in this human form. But the thing is, hindi pa ako, hindi pa inang sa ako ni gusto ko pa maging more like Christ every day and we all should. Dapat may, may desire kita always every day to be more like Christ. And God gave us the encouragement that if we fail today, we could restart again tomorrow. We could start again tomorrow. Kaya ako na yung kinambal na hindi na siya ang, ang mercy sa ginoo should not be something na ba mo ay salamat mercy ko lang ginoo sige mo padayo na ako sa tupas na eh hindi mercy ko lang ginoo hindi ang ginahambal din ni Jeremiah is God is so faithful to you nabis ka na ako na hindihin mo ako sa, sa ginoo padayo mo sa gyapon sa paghipo sa uh, paghipo sa kainhan para sa ino hindi ka naging consume hindi ka naging destroy man hindi He has the right to do so. Hindi niya nag-inihin mo. Ito ang Lord, He is still faithful. He still gives you mercy. So as a reminder for you, you need to change. Huh? You need to change. As a believer of the Lord, dapat, if we are doing something wrong, if we are We are no longer committing ourselves to the Lord. We need to restart. Push that button again. Para magbalik kita sa atong mga responsibilidad. Magbalik kita sa pag-alangan sa ginoo. Magbalik kita sa pag-sentros ang atong kapuhi sa ginoo. Because again, we only have this life. So every moment counts. But also, a message, this, this restart could also be given to people who haven't yet have Christ in their life. Isa ka blessing sa ato is that God is always willing to listen and to wait. God is always willing to Open up His hands for each or anyone who will be willing to accept His hope, 
his sin and give his life to the grave. God is willing to change your life. Because he alone could really change lives. No? I want to bless Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. That you put off concerning the former conversation that the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Ako nang kabuhit na itong sa muna. Sa muna ka pa, hindi ka pa kastuhan nun. And you renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So only when you have Christ, there is truly a chance to change. There is the only moment na pwede ka mag-change. You could never change unless you have Christ. Because He alone has the power to change. So, kung sa ginoo, ha? kung kristuhan ang kamay, if you are already far away from the Lord, maybe nalipatan mo na kung ano ang dapat mo yung buon, you need to restart. Balik ka. And God is always open to accept you back. Kung muna ba lang ang pagdigaw sa ano, nalipatan sa saan, oh, naging, ano yan, naging bayaan mo, hindi yan na kamay. Pero ang ama yan, pagbalik niya, ginaccept sa liyan ko, ako na, ito din ako. Amo na siya. He is always willing to accept us. What a wonderful thing we have. So, kung kung sige no, as we close, this new year is just another new year. Huh? Does it, it, it is not so special because again it's just another year adding to the previous year but it is good that we could be reminded that there is a turning of pages top of life why so that we could again recommit ourselves to the Lord remember what he had done for us in the last years and restart if there is something that needs to be changed so that you could be again a person that truly glorifies the Lord. So, what does it Again, remember, refocus, and restart. Bye-bye. Then you talk sa ginoo na amuni ng message para sa imo ko para sa ato for us to be more and more like Christ. Let us pray. Our gracious God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and we pray, Lord God, na tabayan mo kami every day that we could be more like you every day sa amang kabuhi. Salamat sa imo patutong, salamat sa imo kaayo, salamat din ako kay wala ang ginagawa ba yan sa amang. And again, thank you for this day that you could wake us up so that we could, again, do whatever it takes that we have learned today and apply it in our lives. Thank you, you know. Amen.